Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. My name is Adam. I'm the QB Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me, or not with me as always, is Everton producer Jeff. He's off for the night. I think he's crying because the Jets won and the Vancouver didn't make the playoffs or, or, or some other reason. So I'm back again this week with Fire the Can and Columbus Blue Jackets 2002-2003. Oh, that, boy, that's a... Uh... Just realized I have the wrong title in the Twitch stream. All right, let's put the right year in there. 2002-2003 uh, season, looking for more scoring. Uh, we got started last week with the end of the playoffs where we had a big run. And you can see right here with us starting, we have made a big acquisition. You can see in our top right wing slot, we added Timu Salani. So before we quite get there, let's go back and look at the NHL entry draft, what we did. Um, our captain retired, sadly. Uh, NHL entry draft, we... Let's just take a look here. As Columbus... We didn't have a lot of picks, and honestly, it wasn't too worth, but we took Jay Bomeister. Uh, we grabbed Yanni Picken and... Uh, former Winnipeg Jet, Tanner Glass, and uh, Jeff and I both agreed our final pick was a fourth rounder. We took Rick Rippon, who was a undrafted free agent signed by the Manitoba Moose, who eventually played for the Vancouver Canucks and signed his final contract with the Winnipeg Jets after they returned to the NHL, but unfortunately was dealing with depression and uh, lost his battle. So we both agreed that he was a good pick, and you never know how his career might turn out. Um, so after that, we were fairly happy. We started looking. Jeff pointed out, as good as we did last year, and again, if you missed last year, um, just take a quick look here at the season from last. You can see that we actually played incredibly well. I clicked on the wrong league year because, of course, I did. Let's try that again. Uh, Ottawa Senators have broken the Canadian streak and actually won the Stanley Cup. We ended up making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals, beating St. Louis 4-1, to beating Dallas 4-1, to but we just couldn't score enough to beat San Jose who made a surprising run to the cup final before getting destroyed by Ottawa. Ottawa also surprised winning that seven game series versus the New Jersey devils who had picked up Mario Lemieux. And yeah, so that happened. Our free agency is not really still a big thing at this point. It wasn't until after the next lockout that things kind of started to change. So our draft free agency focused, we lost some guys, um, if we just look at our transactions here. So since we ended up trading with Yuri Fisher and basically our extra picks we had in this draft for Alex Burroughs, who was a more recent draft pick. He's only two, uh, 21. Um, he's only half a star, but we know he can grow into something. So we kind of had that go. Um, we re up Justin Williams, Lubnir Visnovsky. Uh, yeah, Jay Bowmeister was one of our draft picks. And then Jose Theodore, we traded him away because we knew at some point he's going to start going down. We have Tim Thomas as our backup to uh, Mika Kiprasov. And so we picked up Timo Solani and Donald Brashear. Brashear was basically a throw-in to make sure the deal happened. And so we're feeling pretty good, all things considered. Do I not have another goalie up right now? Maybe I don't. Oops, didn't mean to click on injury. I guess I don't. Ty Conklin is actually technically higher, but we're going to bring in Tim Thomas. This is about almost 10 years before Tim Thomas was Tim Thomas, so that's okay. Uh, we're going to have to kind of rip through a bunch of different things. We're going to change up our morale. And that's about it. Our owner still eating a lot of our money, so that's not great. Um... If you've never played the historical mode before, you'll notice we sim very fast because it's not dealing with a lot of teams and leagues. Oh, National Science Chris Spellhue. Okay. Tim Thomas wants 34, but he can't have it. So we're going to give him number one. He's good with that. Excellent. 
Uh, Washington offered his trade proposal. Grant Stevenson for Freddie Meyer. We're going to reject that. I mean, yeah, it's not really a great move for either side. Um, Willie Mitchell is on the trade block. We're going to remove him from the trade block right now. But we are going to add Brashear back on. We still have Jason Bottero, who we picked up. I'm actually just going to shop him to see if we get anything interesting. And no offers for Jason Bottero. Not a big surprise. We could easily lose him in the waiver draft coming up, which we might be a little bit tough in for protecting some guys. So we'll have to keep that in mind as we go here. And we need to set our captain. All right. Couple of minor moves. Oh, Steve Shields is on the move. Okay. Yuri Slager, old friend. And a third round pick. Hmm. All right, so we have to set our captains because, as we said, um, Kirk Muller retired. We're just going to do a little bit of cleanup here. So we have 20 guys currently dressed. So what are we missing? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven defensemen currently dressed. So Robidas is out. Goaltender, that would leave us with one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Yeah, okay, so we're sitting at twelve. Um Yeah, so Bashir. Burroughs is probably going to be down. Dupuis might be our fourth forward, or uh, probably Tomo Rutu will be. Move Dupuis down right now. Jay Mobilister will kind of go down. Robidas will probably be our seventh defenseman. All right. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I need to set my captains then. So for our captains... We currently have Chara as our assistant. Iserman probably becomes a captain. He's 37. So let's do that. He's going to become captain for the last couple of years of his career. Without looking, I'm going to guess Lanny probably makes the most amount of sense. But we'll look at some mental ratings here. And see what we see. Uh, so leadership... So is Chara as high? Or Falski could be. But yeah, so Markov wants to be up there too. Well, Slaney's a little bit lower, but he's only 16 to 17. Yeah, so that's not that big of a drop. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I think we're still going to give it to We're going to name Solani the second one until Jeff comes in and tells us that's not what you should be doing. So there's our new leadership group. Uh, we need to go to our lines and get them reset right now. We're going to take Justin Williams off, assuming Solani probably jumps to the first line, yeah. So then we have Iserman, Williams, Horkoff. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, that actually gives us some pretty even, pretty strong four centers, honestly. Gives us strength right down the middle. Horkoff's up. Is Horkoff doing okay for in terms of levels here. So yeah, he's at two stars at 28 points. Okay. I don't mind that. Let's see how we do in our first preseason game here. Overkill of ASC says 5-2 Panthers in real life. Wow, that game got out of hand fairly quick. Uh, we win 2-1 versus Pittsburgh. Kovalchuk gets another couple goals. Rafalski scores a couple points. 
And Andre Markov gets immediately injured in the first game. What are you doing, Markov? Bruised neck out one to two weeks. Markov, Markov, Markov. So we're immediately going to jump and just put Robida in his spot. Thanks for the update. I've been trying to keep... I mean, I've been very happy with uh, with a Jets play last night in real life. And 4-3 victory. Nice. Okay, our line seemed to be getting some stuff done. Cole scores a couple times. Nice. Willie Mitchell. Nice. Yes, and actually, I've been talking to Jeff, but I haven't told him yet. I am going to Game 4 in Winnipeg of Jets versus uh, Vegas, so I'm very excited for that, other than the fact it's starting so late here. Because of TV. And in our game against Pittsburgh, we lose. A Falski score... Oh. Oh, wait, did I read Okay, I read it wrong. Never mind, we beat Pittsburgh. All right. I don't know if I've seen Solani get a point yet, but that's okay. We are just working. And 4-1 victory, so this has been a pretty good preseason. Oh, there's Solani, finally gets a goal. Shots seem to be working out all right. Ooh, Iserman. <laughs> Three straight penalties, tripping, hooking, tripping. That's not good. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe he'll have to move down to third line center if he's getting out skated. Oh, uh, we've hit October. Yeah, we're fine with all that. Uh, Visnovsky. All right, let's see here. Visnovsky's down to 75, so we're going to put Jay Bomeister in. Datsuk's down to 75, so let's put Rutu in. And Horkoff's down to 75, so we'll put Botter, or not Botter, we'll put in uh, Burroughs for him. And see how it does with a bunch of rookies. And we still win 3-1. All right. They score first, but then Nedved, Williams, Solani. Nice. All right. Training camp development report. Andre Markov's close to getting back. Good. Oh, Jay Bowmeister with a huge bump. He's up to one star. Seven up. Nice. Eric Cole with a nice bump. Datsuk with a nice bump. Ilya Kovalchuk. Wow, there are two stars now. He was, So he was at one star last year. Another big bump now. He's up to two stars. Tomo Rutu, big bump again. Nice. Williams. Rick Rippon gets a nice little bump there, too. All right. Nice ups. Um, all right. Not as many season tickets as I'd hopefully had sold, but you know what? That's okay. So let's see if I can do this right. Viznowski was in for Bowmeister. Or backwards, I guess. Burroughs was in for... Come on, find his name, Horkoff. And Rutu was in for Datsuk. All right. Guess I should back to back here, so I'll try to remember to give our backup a game here. And 3 1 loss to Atlanta. Okay, Danny Heatley rips us apart. Gustav Graberg. All right, not going to change the lineup at all, except we're going to put Tim Thomas in for his first game. 
And two one victory over Buffalo. Nice. Tim Thomas makes twenty one of twenty two saves. All right, Solani's still scoring. And we need to submit our protection list. So we're protecting Kiprasov and I guess Thomas. After that, okay, we're protecting Solani, obviously, because we just got him. Rafalski, Nedved, Datsuk, Chara, Zidlicki. Got to protect our captain. And McDonald, Markov, Eric Cole. All right, looks like we can protect most of our guys. Have to leave open Dan Snyder. And the other guys are not too much. Ty Conklin's very unhappy about still being in the minors, which is too bad for him. NHL season preview. We are not listed at all. Considering we made the Western Conference final, you think we might get a shout out, but no. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So waiver draft time. So let's take a look here, see how we do. Um, anyone of interest? Yeah, a few names. All right, let's see what happens. All right, Milan Elinka. Cristobal Huey goes second. Stu Barnes. All right, Byron Defoe. Steve Reinprecht, Chris O'Sullivan, Chris Terrien, Peter Wizek, Steve Moore, Ted Donato, Trevor Kidd, Sean Brown, Thais Johnson, Jamie McLennan, Hans Hyoven, Artis Urbe, goes from Buffalo to Vancouver. John Sim, Luke Richardson, Rene Colbert, Stefan Quintel, a lot of former Winnipeg Jets, Jason Strudwick, Jim Campbell, Wes Waltz, Brett Hauer, Bruce Gardner, Oh, apparently we had the 14th pick and I somehow missed it and went through it and we picked up Jamie McLennan. All right. Not exactly who I would have picked, but that's okay. Um, technically Jamie McLennan's better. So I guess we could store him for a little bit. Send Bo Meester down. Gonna send down. Gonna send Botterell down. Brashear on waivers. All right, let me think about this for a minute. I'm uh, going to put Markov back in the lineup here.
Tomorutu wants 15. All right, he can go ahead and have 15. Bay McLennan can have 29. As I debate what to do with him. We can hold on to him for right now. Um, anybody need a goaltender? That's a better question. Carolina apparently does, as does Dallas, Edmonton, Florida, Montreal, still looking for a goaltender. All right, let's offer Jamie McLennan to Florida, or Montreal. Oh, we can't give up that much. Now, if there's anyone interest, let's offer them a fifth rounder. We will throw in. An eighth rounder. A year ahead. All right, we'll continue to our game. <laughs> Boone's calling Tim Thomas in our life. Man, this Tim Thomas. Man, that Tim Thomas is a bum you should send him down we've had him down the minors he's been all right all right uh visnovsky is he still hurt should we leave him out for a game he's still bruised neck yeah okay we're gonna put robodaz back in there to start the season because we don't need anybody getting hurt also welcome red flyers and I'm pretty sure I said that to overkill ASE before, but if I didn't, I apologize. We started off with a win. Win in Chicago. Kovalchuk, two goals and assist. Power play goal by himself, then scores on the power play for the second goal. Less than a minute later, Solani adds his first. They score one in the second, then McDonald scores two goals in the third to make sure they do not come back. All right. And Willie Mitchell just got hurt. And he's done for three months. Awesome. Perfect. What a, what a great way to start the year. Mm, Markov's coming back in. Mitchell's getting replaced with Robida. And so he's going to the injured list. So now who's my next man up? Mike Komisarek. All right. Just curious if there's anyone in free agency who would be any use to us. And it looks pretty barren. Uh, The off chance for somebody I'm missing here. Kari Sarge. Yeah, that's not exactly. So I'm pressing needs. What do we got on the trade block? Um, Matthew Snyder, but he's hurt right now. Wrist soreness day to day. It costs a lot to try and pry him free. Jay McKee. Brad Lukowicz. Yeah, I don't think I need anyone that badly. Or if there's somebody really young. Yeah, no, okay. So I guess we're going to be calling up. Surprisingly, Mike Komisarek is going to come up and be our seventh defenseman then. All right. Uh... Overkill the ASC. If you did not see our playoff run, he just absolutely was amazing for us. Willie Mitchell, I mean. Uh, and continuing on here. All right, game versus New Jersey. Just please don't let Markov get hurt playing him a little bit injured. 
5-4 victory to continue our season on a winning streak. Man, they outshot us 37-27. to 27. I just realized I forgot something. I need to check because I forgot about it from last year. And, okay, overtime winner, minute just over a minute in. Ooh, that's some bad numbers defensively. Um, tactics. We had increased our tempo a little bit. I'm going to bring that back down. Just to see if that makes a bit of a difference for us. Montreal says... No way to that offer, huh? Oops. Let's try that again. Oh, Washington needs a goalie. Okay, I cannot trade him to Washington. All right, I know Florida was a one who needed a goalie. All right. Oh, I read that wrong. Okay, that explains that. Does Pittsburgh need a goalie? No. I don't think San Jose was on his list. Oh, it was. Okay. All right. San Jose offer us a fifth rounder. DM Lombardi's like, not a chance. What if I offered them a sixth round pick this year? And we get a fifth rounder. Offer trade. Sharks are they? Okay. Who do the Sharks have that they don't need? Got somebody on the trade block. Peter Rood. All right, San Jose, you're not helpful at all. Why would that be hardly likely for them to accept that offer? That's a great offer for them. All right. Let's just go put McLennan on the trade block. And I guess we're carrying three goalies for right now. Red Flyers says nice top six here. Oh, yeah, it's worked out fairly well. Our pickup of Solani should be interesting for the year. And let me be clear, that was all Jeff's idea, Rhett. All Jeff's idea. 3-3 three, three, tie. All right. They score first. We score second. They go up 3-1. We tie it in the third. So actually holding on for that is not bad. At all. All right. Oh, look at that. Toronto releases Craig Billington. So they got lots of room for a goaltender. All right. We're going to give this game versus Tim Thomas because he hasn't gotten to a game yet. And we'll see how he does. 6-3 victory. Stomping. Oh, boy. Lots of sc scoring. Uh, they score first. We score second. We score third. Chara, Kovalchuk, Chara. Nedved, Kovalchuk, Cole finally gets his first on the year in. All right, 3 0 and 1 for our first four games. Remember when we couldn't even get a mention to start the year? Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll just have to shut them down. 
Jeff is the better GM anyways. Red, I'm going to have to ban you from the stream for that. How dare you? 3-1 loss. Look, you made the team so upset by your comment, we lost to Florida. Datsuk is the only one to score. Uh. Oh, man. Lubinir Viznovsky's day-to-day. That's not good. But he's back sooner rather than later. It might be safe to dress him. Bruce Toe. Okay, he's going through that. Game versus Tampa Bay. What do we got here? 3 nothing victory. Good bounce back, boys. Good bounce back. Falski, Cole, Eiserman. Big thing here is we're getting fairly even points throughout up and up and down our lineup. And so that's big. Wisniewski's only at 70%, but he'll survive this back-to-back, -back, I would imagine. Or not back-to-back, -back, but... 5-2 victory over San Jose. Antropov, Zidlicki, Markov, Datsuk, Iserman. All right. Antropov got injured. What? No, I'm not having him play... Hurt. That's how he gets hurt for a lot longer. Strain back two to three weeks. Tomo Rutu comes in. Which honestly is the perfect thing for him to slip right into. Fourth line center. And continuing here. Minor trade offers, but nothing worthwhile to trade a prospect for. Even if he's 21 and only still half a star. I'm just going to check something right now. I'm thinking of it again. All right, our assistant is in control of training. Okay, Visnovsky's still at 69%, so we're going to give him this game off. And Mike Komisarek is coming in for his first NHL game, I believe. Oh, no, he got into one last year. Second NHL game. And 7-1 loss from the Kings. Oh, boy, we got destroyed. McDonald scores in the first period, and then it is all. Shorthanded goal, even strength, power play, power play, shorthanded. Oh, man, we got just annihilated on special teams. Only Andy McDonald was a plus one. Minus three for Peter Nedved. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Mike Commissarek, 83 defensive game rating, 62 offensive game rating. Still a minus two. Ouch. And Zadeo Charnock, coccyx sprain. He hurt his butt. Why? Ah. Uh. Apparently, apparently, yeah, that's not working good for us. All right, almost everybody's back to 100. I can give, throw Tim Thomas in for this game for Chicago. And 3 1 victory over Chicago. Nice settle down. 6 2 and 1 to start. All right. Breathe a little. Development report. Ooh, lots of guys going up. Char, Pruz, Cole, Datsu, Kiprasov, Kovalchuk is up to two and a half now. Wow, Kovalchuk has just flew up. He went from one star, now he's at two and a half. Andy McDonald, Tomorutu is up to two stars, and now I, I don't know if he was before. And some of our minor leaguers going up. Yeah, not great for those guys. All right. Um. <laughs> no, I guess that's right. Uh, we're going to pump a little bit more into our team morale. Yeah. 
And we'll give Kipper this game again. And it's a 5-1 victory. He beat up on Eddie the Eagle. Rafalski is Licky, Rutu, Solani, Tomo Rutu. Rutu with two goals. Doesn't want to leave the lineup. That might be interesting. Um. <laughs> Uh oh, that's not good. We might have to make a trade here. Commissar has been involved in an off ice incident. And he's upset two of our better players. Okay. All right, so we're having high. Hi, 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 going on. Commissaric. Immediately, we're just going to send him down. Um... I guess we'll call Jay Bo Meester up for right now. All right. All right. So Eisman successfully got Robida out of the clique. Char is at 57%. Uh, that's fine. He's going to play through this game. But if he drops lower than that, we're going to have to sit him for a game. Commissaric got a big head on himself. And Peter Nedved gets injured? What? Eight days. Okay. Hmm. All right, now I got to look here. Antropov still hurt. Okay, so Antropov is going to the injured list retroactively, which means we're calling up Simonov. Oh, we're going to call Pasco Dupuy back up. Commissaric, I'm so mad I'm putting him on the trade block. In fact, I'm going to shop him right now. We're getting an offer for a good player. He's gone. John Zeeler. Um, Garth Murray. Twenty-year-old right-wing Colton Orr, Matt Walker, Dubinsky, Ryan Caldwell. <laughs> okay, played a cup of coffee in the league. Um, Marcel Rodman, Grant Stevenson, no, Tomas Gosh, no, Sean Hill's too old, Michael Wolf, one and a half star, okay, Noah Welsh. Played a little bit in the league. It's basically a flat out trade swap. I don't hate that deal. Um, 
Martin Thorberg. Marshall. Eric Godard. Okay. Um, Thirty-four-year-old Rob Brown. Okay, do I make this move? Do I dump him this quickly, or do I wait and see what happens? I take no Welsh. Left-handed, right-handed defenseman, six foot four, so he's a big guy. Third round pick of the Coyotes. Hmm. Who's gore scoring ability? Welch is a disappointment in practice. <laughs> Okay, controversy will follow. All right, nope, we're not going to do that then. We will reject that trade for now. But yeah, with Nedved out, Rutu is going to replace with Dupuis. Nedved is going to be replaced with Rutu. Chris Laflamme. Mm, no. No, we do not want. Zeno Char is ready to come back. And what's his percentage? 86%. Okay, so he's okay to go. Dupuy is probably not the best guy for centering that fourth line, but oh boy, we lose 6 3. Harsh. Just a bad defensive game all around. Slatty was great. Um, hmm. Going on a bits of a skids here. I guess I missed owner confidence update. All right, owner's happy. Uh, let's just take a quick look at our tactics, I guess, here. Um, flexible triangle. It's good, but... Strictly positional or even better. Okay. All right. Activated D we're not great at. Um, hmm. Let's try a wide drive. Uh, behind the net is our top one. Four check, we were with a one, two, two.
Let's try the T3 press on the four trick. See if we can get things going a little better. One, two, two, luck. All right. All right, let's do sagging zone, see if we make a little bit of difference with those tweaks. Um, I'm going to put McDonald in the center there for now, for this. See if that helps. And 3 nothing victory, that's better. All right. And pulling off a few more wins. Beat the Rangers. Andy McDonald with the hat trick. Nice. Nedved is closer to returning. Dupuis is getting better at playing center. I mean, he's a 13. Okay, well, he'll be all right then. Working himself out. To get there. Continuing to sim. And we have a 4-3 victory. Over Colorado. They score, but then Solani, Datsuk, Kovalchuk... Score scored, tie it back up. Viznowski takes the lead. And that's it. All right. Panthers get Wade Belak. End game versus Anaheim. Timo Solani revenge game, obviously. So what happens here? 2-0 loss. Solani, that is not a revenge. That's a loss. We get stumped. Hold them to 20 shots, but we give up two goals. 29 shots for us, and we can't score. New Jersey is taking offers from Mario Lemieux. Should we be trying to get Mario Lemieux? What would be the cost of Mario Lemieux? That's a better question. 17 points in 10 games. Yes, I think we have to try and get Mario Lemieux. Right? Right? I think... I think... What would we give up for Mario Lemieux? 3-2 loss. Ouch. And Solani just got injured. Oh, no. Day-to-day, -day, but could miss four weeks. That's not day-to-day. -day. Dislocated shoulder. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to go look at trade offer and look, talk to New Jersey. But Mario will not come to us. Oh, Mario. I'm a so sad. Maybe he'll change his mind. Guess not today, at least anyways. All right, so let's think about this. Okay. 
So Solani is gone. I'm just going to send him immediately, not to the injured list. Okay, oops, I meant to go to injured list. So Willie Mitchell still a while. Nick Antropov is day to day. Um, okay, Nedved can just come right back in here right now. Okay, we're going to take Nedved and replace him with Tomo Rutu so he takes back all his stuff. And then Rutu is going to take over the right wing spot on the first line. And Rutu becomes our trigger man on the power play. And Rutu sticks in there. All right. Um, <laughs> Edvid says he's ready. Antropov is getting closer. Five one lost Dallas. We are in trouble here, and we are gonna sink fast. Oh, good. Merrick Zalicki just got suspended for five games. So Jay Bowmeister and his rookie seasons coming in for at least five games. And we lose 3-1. Awesome. All right, Antropop back gives us a shot in the arm, quite literally. So Rutu is going to get replaced with Antropov, who is returning to our top lines. And Dupuis is coming out to get replaced by Rutu, who moves all the way back down. And our hot start has disappeared. Three, two, victory. Okay, there we go. Back on track a little bit. Datsu, Kovalchuk, Cole, Nedved, Robida, Cole, Datsuk, Lubinir, Viznoski, Rafalski. All right. Puffalo's looking at moving Alexander Mogilny, Kipper. Give him the next game off. And we lose 5 2 to Ottawa, the Stanley Cup champions. Score two goals in the second to make it close, and then they run away. Hmm. And Zdeno Chara gets injured. Three months with severe eye trauma. Oh, man. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to shop Commissaric right now in case we get another good offer for him. Derek England. Okay, right there. Might be the move to make already. Brandon Nolan. Pearson. And 
Da, da, da. I'm going to be talking to myself as I quickly go through these. But that first offer is probably going to be the right one. Todd Vidark. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh man, could have got Sheldon Keefe or 33 year old Ty Domi. Dean Sylvester. Drew Fatta. All right, I think we're going to make this move for Derek England. Well, something's really jumping out about him, but I don't believe it is. Scouting says he is way in over his head. All right, yeah, we're going to make that trade to get rid of Commissaric and eliminate any chance of him causing more problems. So Derek England is here. Boy, we're going to need somebody to play defense, though. Is there anybody in free agency? Chris Kellner. Gino Ojik. All right, let me just filter this out by just defenseman. Highest rated guy we have scouted is Corey Murphy. A few games in the NHL. Five years down the line. Um... Vandermeer. Um, Dallas Eakins. 35 year old Dallas Eakins still kicking around. Oh boy. What's this guy want for a contract? One year, 350000 All right. Corey Murphy's just a one-star defenseman, but that's basically what we need. So we're going to send... Immediately put him in for Zidane O'Chara. Chara is going to the injured list. England, we're going to send down to the minors. And Murphy, we're going to set his jersey number to 76. Oh boy, injuries are just killing us right now. Game versus Edmonton. Oh, oh, oops, too late, 3-1 victory, okay, just saw a big problem there, so let's go get that checked out right away, nicely done, let's go to tactics, players, Jay, Bo Jay Bowmeister should not be a screener, two-way defenseman, okay, he can actually be a bit of a shot guy, but you know what, that's okay, I like that, Bowmeister is not a screener, uh, we're going to put him as a mobile defenseman as well. Because he can kind of do everything. Eric Cole got injured. Come on, guys. Get healthy. Hyperextended elbow out one to two weeks. Okay. 
I'm not frustrated at all. Not at all. No. All right, let's see here. And three nothing loss to the Islanders. I have no words. Merrick Sedlicki is back from suspension. Huzzah, huzzah. Bo Meester comes out and will put in Zedlicki. Um, I'm going to take Murphy out and replace him with Bo Meester. And I gotta look at my lines here again because Markov's moving up for Robodaz, Zilicki's moving up for, yeah, that's better. Five one victory over Carolina. Three games above five hundred, but we are fighting this hard. All right, I'm out over our hour. We rolled into December, taking a quick look here at the development report, and lots of guys going up still, so that's good. Tomorutu takes another big jump. All right, everything you kind of like to see. Tim Thomas is going down a little bit. That's not good, Tim Thomas. All right, with that... Thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on Twitch.tv slash Franchise Hockey Manager, as well as Twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com slash OOTP Developments as well, with archives going live at about 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays. Um, why? Because we want to support our European viewers. You can also reach, if you're looking to talk to us, you can reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager. On Twitter, we're at franchise hockey. And we can find a link to our official Discord in our Twitter bio right now as well. And of course, as always, you can come on down to the official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right hand corner. We can come talk about franchise hockey manager, park baseball, perfect team go, or anything else you wish to discuss. Jeff isn't here, but normally I'd say, Jeff, did I forget anything? And I don't think I did. But if I did, you know, again, come on down to our official website, ootpdevelopments.com. And we are active on there, as well as our Discord trying to... Seriously? Another guy got injured? Well, perfect time to stop, I guess. As things continue to pile up, we'll just take a look at our stats here at the end. With Kovalchuk leading us with 16 points in 25 games. And then Datsuk, 15, McDonald, 15. Solani had 12 points in 17 games. Oh, man. Tough way to go. All right. With that, thank you very much for tuning in. And we will see you all again next week, where we should hopefully be back with Jeff's Wisconsin game.